Good evening, ladies, as well as gentlemen. Papa Boris here with some more Darkest Dungeon. Oh my god, the comments for these videos are getting fierce. But uh, let's go ahead and do another mission. Uh, we'll put in our backup Hellion, backup Crusader. Have they had their skills upgraded? Yeah. Um, we'll do... See, I don't, I, I don't know if I need this other Plague Doctor. I've already got one at level 3. So we'll, we'll do some experimenting. Everyone will be really happy. Let's keep leveling up our uh, Vestal here. And we'll do a Jester, so we can see what that's all about. All right, here we go. Let's provision up. I think I might have been over-provisioning on these medium missions. Because it seems like you can always find some um, some stuff to uh, treat with herbs and get more food. So we'll get the herbs instead of an extra four food. I'll just stick with eight torches, uh, because I've got a Vestal and a Paladin, Crusader, so I can raise the light level with them. And then, just a single shovel, we'll leave it at that. Yeah, that should be fine. I'm trying to save some money here, because I'm getting a little, a little bit low, so I'm trying to be a little bit uh, more corner-cutting-y with my supplies. Okay, so we're in the Warrens for a medium mission. Got a scout in 90% of the rooms. The scouting missions... Sorry, let me unzip my coat that I'm still wearing for some reason. The scouting missions are both good and bad. The bad thing about them is that you have to explore a lot of the rooms. But the good thing is that you can plan out your path 100% uh, of the way. And here, let's see, there's no way that I can get all but two of the rooms in just a single shot. But... Let's see, I can come pretty close, I think. If I backtrack once, yeah, if I, if I go to he this room first and then I backtrack around, I can get everything in one swoop without having to do any more backtracking, which is good because I underprepared for the food. So being able to go into a single path is nice. Ah, starting off with a trap. Luckily it's our Jester, so who cares about him? Okay. Why, did the Jester really get 30 stress just from that one trap or did I use a Jester before? That's weird. Eh, okay. So let's go into this room. Ah, we got a fight. So we got the barfing pigs and the acolytes. Okay. Let's see here. Um, yeah, we'll just keep it simple. Let's stun the brawler because he's more likely to get stunned. This also will increase the light level. Um, I need to try to kill off that pig as soon as possible. Alright, that's good. And all right, I think the Jester now can do um, Harvest. This is a pretty decent ability. It's not too much bleed, just one per three rounds, but it does hit the two middle people with only a 40% negative damage mod. Should be able to finish off the pig and maybe kill off the cultist if the bleeding happens. Let's see. Yep, this thing will die before it gets to go again. Perfect. So now we're going to inflict bleed on the Acolyte. Oh, the dodge. Okay. All right, well, it worked once, so let's try stunning the pig, even though it has a 50% chance to resist. Perfect, it actually works. Great, we're then gonna go for the harvest. Get some stress relief by laying the killing blow rather than letting it bleed out. This thing's bleeding now. Good, it does the push rather than doing the stressful incantation. And we'll continue making it bleed, perfect. All right, this is a pretty nice opening battle here. Now, I think I feel pretty confident uh, taking the time to raise the light level a little bit. I'm getting some stress relief. Doing it twice? Mm, sure, we'll do it twice. I think everybody else has pretty much got this under control. Oh, all right, well, we run into the problem with the Jester. This guy doesn't actually have any abilities um, for just being in this spot when the, when the second and third people are dead. All right, uh, this guy has 70% stun resist, so I'm not gonna bother trying that. So I can either deal a bit damage to him with the Judgment, or I can heal up the Jester. Let's go ahead and grab some healing on the Jester. Let the Swine Chopper whack at my frontliners while they get to work on him. I choose to stun the Vestal. Oh, I was gonna say that wasn't a big deal because it's just a stunning move, but uh, the fact that you know the crit happened was annoying. That gave everybody some stress. What? Why are you getting to go again? What the hell is going on here? All right. Well, I guess I should have yopped him, but here we go. It's dead. Got a little hairy at the end there. This is terrible. Wow. Well, another shovel could be useful. 500 gold. What? What is? Oh my god! I almost left the shovel behind. All right. There we go. 
Let's put you back here. Unlocked strong box. Okie doke. Yeah, it's pretty crappy. Well, I wish I hadn't bought those herbs. I'm almost certainly not going to get to use them. I think I might have been wasting too much money uh, buying supplies. Because on these medium missions, you'd think you'd need more supplies. But the thing is, you often find stuff. So, like, I found a second shovel and I found a second medicinal herbs. Had I needed them and not found them, I would have been glad that I found them. But. Or no, had I needed them and not bought them, I would I would be glad. But if I had needed them and not bought them, anyway, the point is, uh, we're getting nibbled on in a grave fashion here. Let's go ahead and uh, kill off one of these maggots, hopefully. I'm more concerned about the maggots than the spider, because the spider does more damage, but the maggots do stress. So they need to die. We get some light level going there. This guy, I really should have bought the party... The, he has an ability, the Jester, that increases the party accuracy. Okay, um, clearly I did not realize that that stress tune works on everybody. Because I thought, well, this is just like a strictly worse version of the Paladin's ability. But, for some reason, in the past when I used the stress thing, it only did it to one person. Or so I thought. This is target stress healing. I guess it's everybody. Cool. Well... What? It only now did it to him? I guess I guess it's just freaking random. I have no idea. Sorry, I have no idea what the hell stress the inspiring tune is doing. Doke. So then, uh, I think it's time to kill off the spider. I'm not gonna do any more dicking around. And we got a painting for that. Well, those are pretty easy fights, so getting only a painting is fine. These bones, uh, you can find stuff in them, but since I don't have any holy water, I don't want to risk it. I always do this. I always think, oh, I'll, I'll just buy less supplies, but then, like, I end up needing holy water or something, and I'm sad I never bought any. Well, we're glad to have bought a shovel, but I found an extra shovel, so I don't know if I'm actually going to need to use that extra shovel. See, though, if I hadn't bought the shovel and I hadn't found the shovel, then it would have been really annoying because I would have taken some damage and, more importantly, stress just to get past that impediment. Yeah. All right. Luckily, we resist the bleed. I don't understand how Inspiring Tune works. Oh, we have another thing where we could have used some holy water. Lighting a torch there was probably a mistake, because if there had been a fight here, I wouldn't have been able to, to take advantage of the um, light abilities of my Crusader and Vestal to um, get extra light, and then basically would have wasted the torch. Oh, I forgot! The barrel is some kind of frickin' buff that doesn't actually give you food. Ah, oh, shoot. I should've not done that. It's the dinner cart that actually gives you food. Alright, we got the drummer and the pig. And the pig starts out with some pig barf. stress palooza here. Please don't be a crit. Hey, even better. Okay. Wow. Wow, everybody just gets to go. Luckily, most of us dodge the stress ability, and this guy didn't actually take stress for some reason. Shoot, my jester's in the wrong fucking place. So you might think, oh, Boris, put him in the back, but uh, he needs to be in the third position to use these combat abilities. Uh, do I just have him de-stress the whole fight? I really don't think that's right. I think I should, should just accept the fact that I screwed up and move him to the right place. Let's try to stun the drummer with some dazzling light. He's stunned. Good. Can I... Can one of these guys get to go and attack the pig before the pig goes again? Thank you kindly. Bonk! Oh my god. That lance just cannot land. Vomit on the priest again. Alright, she's already stunned this guy. I could hit the pig and I will hit the pig to try to finish it off. Hopefully between that and let it bleed. Or if it bleeds, we'll finish off the pig. Okay. Let's harvest. Pig. Oh, the pig is not quite gonna die. Oh, I'm not gonna let the pig have another turn, even though this is overkill. I'll kill that pig. Alright, time to finish off the drummer. I'm not gonna play games. Let's just kill that guy while I got the chance. And the chopper is... No big deal. Well... She could use some healing. Judgment also... Actually, Judgment does not give any light. Hmm. I'll go for the light, even though the stun's not likely to happen. And it happened. Well, isn't that great? 
So this Jester, I, I clearly have to change up the abilities so that he can do things. I think the real problem with that Inspiring Tune is that he has to be last in order to use it. But he needs to be third in order to use his good combat abilities. See, I'm not just being discriminatory against things. I think the Jester legitimately, legitimately sucks. Do I take a moment to heal everybody up? Alright, I'm gonna do it. Hopefully he won't deal too much damage to me on his turn. Okay, so I play a tune on the Priest, and then it stress heals the Jester himself and the Crusader. I don't know what the hell's going on. Well, we had a chance to kill him. Missed. Luckily we dodged his attack. So, since everybody else still gets to go... Let's heal some stress and get the light up closer to 100. Get some more lights. Actually, that, that didn't raise the light level. Weird. Okay. Okay, well, Jester, let's put you there. Unlock strong box. Good. Some crests and an emerald. 500 gold. Alright, not bad. So we just need to go through these six more rooms. One thing that's worth noting as a little strategy point is that when you camp, it actually raises your light level back up to 100. So that's like a way that you can actually um, get your light refilled. And that's another reason why I think I was wrong before to buy so many torches. I think 8 is probably enough for a media mission because of that refill with the camping ability. Okay, let's try to stun the brawler and get some more light going here. Let's bleed the cultist. Ooh, the cultist should die if she bleeds. Perfect. There she goes. Alright. So we can slice him. Yeah, we might as well use slice off because he's the only one here. If he bleeds, he'll die. He resists, unfortunately. Let's keep on stress healing with the crusader. This is pretty well in hand. That skeleton up front here is not a big deal. And the abilities are very weak. All right, light level could use a bit more, so let's give her some stress relief by giving her the killing blow and raise the light. This is so annoying. By the way, you do have to move because if you pass the turn, you take stress. Okay. So now... Oh, um, this is... Wow, that's terrible. So in the first round, you get extra crit. Well, is that terrible? So later on, you end up going later in the turn order. I'm going to put this on the Hellion, because usually the Hellion, I don't really want her to go. I want um, in the closing moments of the battle for, like, the Crusader and the Vestal to go for the heals and the stress relief. And I want her to go last and kill off the monster after my guys have used buff, so I guess that's okay. Extra crit and um, speed in the first round seems kind of nifty. All right, we get to scout. All right, so there's nothing much coming up. I was told that if you burn these things, you could lose a negative ability. Uh, light above negatives. Okay, that actually seems like a good ability to get rid of. Oh, wait, this weak grip, though. I, I'm sick of that. All right, so let's go here, and let's try to torch this pile of scrolls. Ah, wow, it had got rid of the weak grip quirk just as I had hoped. Well, would you look at that. Thank you, YouTubers, for or people who watch me on YouTube for teaching me new things. So we've got four food left. Got to be a little careful here. I might end up starving, actually. Um, it's going to be close. I don't know if I'm going to end up starving or not. The problem is, if I have to eat again, then I won't be able to camp. And I guess that's not the end of the world. So that's fine. But maybe for that reason I should have bought brought extra food. The thing is, in the Warrens, there's almost always... Um, a thing that you can put the herbs on to get food from it. I just haven't encountered any of those yet. Alright, so you know what? Let's just go slashy slashy here. Um, I'm not doing this because I care about stunning him. Just I want to raise the light level. And indeed he resists the stun. That's fine. You know what? We'll yop. Let's yop it up, baby. Alright, now he's stunned. The Jester needs to go back. Alright, we'll do some stress relief because uh, we might not get to camp here, so raising the light level and uh, increasing or decreasing stress could be useful. He was doing a very good job dodging today. Really no point in healing. He's only missing a little bit of hit points, so we'll do this just for the light level. 
Ah, the stun actually beats the odds and works. Perfect. Let's heal some more stress. And finish this thing off. Ooh, got a sapphire. Lovely. Okay, gotta remember to put the jester there. Right, here's a crate. Crests, not the most exciting thing, because you always get crests. It's the busts, the papers, and the paint paintings that are different. Ooh, we had a dinner table here, so we are gonna get some food. Oh, fuck, that's bad. Oh, that's really, really bad. Oh my god. The fact that my two melee people got into the back is a real problem. Everybody got stressed out by that? Fuck you people. Alright. So he can at least, um, I can actually do this solo, which uh, lowers everybody's accuracy or deals some damage. Alright, let's try it. I, I'm never gonna get to use this again. Alright, so their accuracy has been reduced. Didn't stop him from landing a hit, though. That's for damn sure. Oh, fuck. Wow, this is... Like I said before, um, getting surprised is one of the easiest ways for something that's going swimmingly to suddenly turn horrible. Alright, let's see if we can finish off this pig. We can't. I really hope that the Crusader goes before the Hellion in the second round so the Crusader can at least get up here. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna put the Vestal in her place, and then I'm gonna also uh, slide the Jester back so the Jester can start to use his attack abilities here. Okay, this guy's getting rent for the old gods. Luckily, there was a miss. Oh, the push. Oh my god. Well, we get another Holy Lance out of this, but if he goes after these two, then it's gonna suck. No, don't get stunned. Oh my god. Oh no. Thank you. That was a big, big boost. Okay. Should I? Nah, there's no point putting, putting the Vestal up front, so let's just slice at the Acolyte. She's bleeding pretty good. The Barbarian uh, just sliding here with the Crusader over and over. Let's use a heal, because that's all I can do. I guess I could have slid back and we'll put the Barbarian second. Oh, perfect. Please don't resist the push. Please don't resist. You've got to be fucking kidding me. All right. Um, well, let's try to slice off the Acolyte before she gets to go again. This will cause her to die. Dodge the stun move. Good. So if I do Holy Lance right now, it's just going to put the Barbarian back, so I'll do this instead for now. Jester is really being a champ here. All right. That's gonna die regardless, so let's slice the pig. And yes, the priest on her turn really needs to just slide the barbarian up so that I can use Holy Lance. Actually, Holy Lance is no longer usable because the back two already died. Okay, well we got our less used characters to take some damage, take some meat off of our frontliners. Oh man, he might go on death's door here. He resists the bleed, but by starting his turn before the Vestal, he ends up having to um, go on death's door anyway. This thing will bleed to death. All right, I was supposed to swivel. Whoops. Um, shit. I really should have swiveled around. Well, the Crusader will heal. Get some more light level going. Let's see, this chopper is going to um, bleed to death. So what I'm gonna do is actually do this. So that this person can start using real abilities and so that the Vestal can now use her dazzling light. Hopefully stun the brawler and prevent further damage. One hit point at a time. All right, there's nothing this guy can do, so he'll just slide on back. Let's yomp it up. Oh, are you kidding? This has been a real fight. Why is everyone getting all bitchy about it? Oh my god. Ridiculous. He still can't do anything. This guy still can't do anything. God. Well, like I said, getting surprised is really bad, and my party is not very good at uh, dealing with being surprised. Okay, well, that happened. Let's go ahead and uh, pop some medicinal herbs here. Get some extra food. Six extra food, that's pretty solid. So, okay, first things first, we need to put the Crusader there. Okay, now everybody's in the right place. I could rest now, but... It's not urgent. Plus, we already have a pretty high light level. 
All right, it's good that I bought a shovel because here I need it. That extra shovel that I found helps me break past the barrier and the shovel that I bought was needed as well. Okay, that was good. And actually I ended up using the extra medicine as well. So, ha. Ah, we got another pile of scrolls. Well, uh, who's got a bad ability? Uh, that doesn't really matter. Uh, that's a pretty annoying one. All right, we'll have the Vestal burn the scrolls, although I don't know how how she's going to feel about it. Phlegnophobia. All right, so she's manic for money. Don't really know what that means. It's fine. Oh, no, I just remembered I scouted the trap. Oh, God, well. That's a lot of stress that could have been avoided. Okay, let's time let's let's camp here. The advantage to waiting to camp would be that I could actually um if, if I if I waited to camp, then I could quit the mission without having to risk a battle afterwards. But this way I get my light back up, and hopefully the last room will just be empty and I'll be fine. Let's do half rations this way in case everyone gets hungry again. Um I can still feed them and not have to starve. Okay. Well, let's revel, because this lady has a lot of stress. Alright, zealous speech. Seems like it should be good, although that's a lot of that's a lot of time. Reduce stress by 20, one companion increased. So I'm assuming that one person stays the same and two people go down by 20. Right? Well that reduce stress by 30, that's fantastic. Hmm, okay. Well let's see what that if that works the way I think it should. It should keep one person the same, and then two people decrease by 20. That is definitely not what that ability says. That Because it should be everybody's stress goes down by 20 and one person goes up by 20 to go back to equal. But instead, this guy is just straight up one up by 20. Well, that's bad rules writing. Luckily, um, we should be fine. All right, this person. This person's a really good stress reliever. Holy crap. Okay, so let's relieve some stress on the Vestal. Wow, way to uh, encourage her there. Okay, so um, let's encourage the Jester. And that should be the last thing that we can do, right? Yep. Hopefully no more monsters will be upon us. It should be light once this ends. The torch here is enough. Oh, quit your bitchin'. Okay, there it is, full light level. One more room to scout. Books, don't like books. Don't like traps. Did I scout that trap before? I don't think so. All right, let's light the last torch. Go into the final room and nothing. Okay, well thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, do please like and or subscribe. And if you want to stick around, let's go ahead and do the post-battle stuff. Would I have run out of food if I hadn't found the six food? I would have. Then I wouldn't have been able to camp and reduce all that stress. Okay, so probably like 14 food is the amount that you should get to be safe. In the Warrens, there's a pretty good odds of finding a food table but in, or like a dining cart or something. But if you don't find that, you kind of get into trouble. Light above zero? Wow, uh, that's terrible. Okay. God fearing, that's fine. Ooh, that's a perfect one for me. Don't know what that means, and that's cool. Alright, great. So we got a level three Vestal. Pretty soon we're gonna be ready to do the... Uh, veteran missions. Oh, right, my level... Soon to be level three, Barbarian and Paladin both died. <laughs> uh, okay, so maybe once these guys get there, we'll be good. Okay, well, let's see what the stagecoach brings us. Occultists. You know, I've been trying an occultist in another game, um, and they're okay. So what I will do is I will actually get rid of my second jester and bring an occultist on board. Let's see, I want the reconstruction... And then I want the stab. He has the reconstruction, not the stab. He has them both. This actually, this actually, this guy's actually pretty perfect. Vivil. From over there, I thought that said Willy. Definitely didn't. All right, let's uh, let's clean up a little bit, shall we? So we need to. If I'm gonna use this jester, 
I need to get some better skills. So first, let's get this Battle Ballad. So he actually has a buff that he can use in the third position. Do I want to keep going with the Inspiring 2? No, because I really want to be able to use the Slicing abilities and Inspiring 2 doesn't fit that. Okay, so I replaced Inspiring 2 with the Battle Ballad. This is dumb. This could be useful. It lets him attack basically anyone from any position. Then he jumps to the front of the line. That gives the Crusader a chance to use Holy Lance again. If there are still monsters to Holy Lance. And it also lets him do something besides Battle Ballad. Actually, Solo's a terrible skill. I would never want that. Okay, so in that case, um, yeah, I guess we'll just get the Dirk Stab so it's some he has something. So we'll upgrade the Dirk, the Harvest, the Slice, and the Ballad. Okay, let's just... I know you can change these mid-battle, but let's just go ahead and put them on now so I don't forget. Okay, perfect. Um... I think this lady has everything, but let's just check to make sure everybody's all up to date. Oh, well, oh, nope. This guy needs to get a better smite. Gonna change his abilities up a little bit, actually. I'm gonna bring in the Zealous Accusation. This has this negative damage mod, but it does hit two targets for a pretty decent amount of damage. I never use this guy's Stunning Blow anyway, so I might as well just uh, get a skill I'm actually gonna be using. And then Holy Lance, of course, is great. I'm also going to buff up Inspiring Cry. Because now it can stress heal for 5, and it can sometimes even heal for 2, which is nice. So let's get rid of Stunning Blow, put on Zealous Accusation. Okay. Can we... Is the Blacksmith available? Can anyone get Blacksmithed? This guy should. Yeah, so let's do that. Still don't have enough papers, not even close. So I'm definitely not putting papers into the stagecoach. Sorry, everyone who keeps telling me I should do that. And, um... Okay, I think... That's it, so I really would like to get these guys, actually the Plague Doctor is not urgent to get to level 3. I got a Vessel and a Plague Doctor, so I really just need the Barbarian and the Crusader to get to level 3 is what I'm trying to do here. So I'll be the two of them, and then we'll bring Mare Scott. Or no, let's bring the, fine, let's bring in the Occultist, um, and the... Highwaymen or the Jester next time for some variety. Okay, that'll do it. Thanks everybody again, and I'll see you soon. Take care, everyone.